before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment hops down below, man. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, if we can average 8K views, we dropped it down from 10K. We didn't make it last month, so we made it to 8.5. So I'm going to drop it even lower than 8.5 because I'm really trying to give away this next-gen console. If we can average 8K views per video, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console, whether it be an Xbox or a PlayStation. Number two, every single Friday, we give away $50 in Cash App, VC, or a video game of your choice, man. So all you got to do to get involved in any of that is like the video and comment hops at the end of your comment down below. You can comment anything you want to, but if you don't have anything to comment, just put hops down there. And thirdly, the bots are back. I'm trying my best to keep these bots out of the comment section, man, but they keep coming back. They got an infinite amount of accounts, and uh, I got an infinite amount of block hands. So, you know, just make sure y'all don't... Don't pay no attention to the bots. I'm not putting my phone number down there. I'm not telling you to hit me up on Telegram. If I don't say Instagram, Twitter, or Black Planet, then, you know, it's not me. And with all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. This is going to be a quick video today, man. We're just going to get, like I said, money on the flow. Let's get straight to it. That boy Power DF says, I say this honestly, that I have no beef with anyone. I'm cool with everybody that would like to be with me. You may not like me, but I don't care. It's one-sided. That's how you got to be in life, man. A young man is learning a lot, man. So, you know, it is what it is, bro. We got to, you got to keep, you got, you got to keep yourself laser focused on your goal and say, we going to do what we going to do, man. That boy King Jordan kind of, kind of doubled down on that. And he says, people will whisper your accomplishments. But shout out your failures. That boy Bruto Sim on the scene, wicked and mean. Message? Y'all already know what it is, man. He, You know he's a big, big advocate of that message, man. It doesn't matter what you do in life. And that's how it is, bro. And, and, and I feel so bad because on the flip side of that, when we do these videos as a content creator, we never look at the videos that go crazy or whatever. We just look at the ones that didn't do anything and try to figure out what happened with that. Or we never, I try my best to make sure that I, I give love to everybody in the comment section that gives love to me. But sometimes it just gets hard. And like you, you might, you might like and like and like a million um comments down there. And then as soon as somebody drops a bad comment or something like they just trying to get a rise out of you, you give that more attention when you should be giving more attention to the, all the people that give you love, man. So, you know, it's one of those things where I just feel like it's hard to do, but it's also human nature to look at. We don't look at everything that's going right. We look at the failure in the system, and then we say, okay, this is what I need to be working on or whatever. So, like I said, it's, it's human nature, but we all got to work on that stuff, man. So, we just got to stay positive out there and keep pushing and see what we can get done, man. Up next, we got that boy Laker fan saying, on a scale, I mean, on a scale of how much fun I'm having versus the community hype ratio, this has been one of the biggest margins ever seems like everyone just went and gave up on the game i have i'm having a blast and this joint uh i'm having a blast on this joint every day uh every minute i'm on it just got into our first pro-am runs tonight too and like you said bro like if as long i feel like as long as you are playing the game and you having fun and you keep recreating good things about the game and all that like i said to me I'm having a blast finding y'all new jump shots, finding bills. We dropping the, uh, we simulating the career Dr. Disrespect today. Let me know if y'all want to watch that. Also, you know, hey, if y'all want me to simulate the careers of other people, man, let me know about that. But we doing Dr. Disrespect today, so that's going to be a blast. I got so many things I got to do doing some cyber faces for me to do. J-Mo, he going to be hooking me with some cyber faces. We're going to be doing some different, uh, different characters and different plays and stuff. Man, it's going to be crazy, man. So all the stuff that we got planned. It, it is it's, it's good but i just got to get all the main stuff out of the way we got to get y'all a news video every day telling y'all what's going on in the community and we also every day you know we try to bring something different we got to bring do some more lockdown university videos it's just so much stuff that that i see the potential of this game but a lot of people they just they just don't man and i think though if you like the creativity then you really gonna hate it but if you if you if you got that creativity and you want to step outside the box and do some different type of content, I, I think that I think that everything gonna be cool, man. Hey, the boy Pen Wizard, you know, uh, they, we, they kind of double down on what they saying. It says honestly, there is no two, there is no one 2K release uh, I didn't I didn't like, and and that was and that was because of the control. Hold up, hold up. Honestly, I think there's only one 2K release I didn't like, and that was because of the controls. No matter how good 
uh, no matter how good I am at the game, once you cut down the cheese, uh, a cheese a bit and force people to play more realistic ball, peeps get exposed. I'm not even good at this game. I just love it. And like I said, though, that's what people always have to say. You don't like the game because you ain't good at it. But then, we, hey, look, look. And then uh, Dime Work, he kind of doubled down on that. And he says, the funniest thing to me is dudes who were good at previous 2Ks thinking that they're entitled to be good at every 2K. And because they suck at 23, the game's trash. Just not how, I mean, it's just not how it works. It's possible that you're not good at this particular game, son. And that's what we keep trying to say, man. Like, people keep, they keep trying to beat the game down, talk trash about this, talk trash about that. And we keep just saying, bro, maybe you're just not as good as you thought you were. But what Dime Work is saying is, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and get better at the game. Like I do understand there are some issues with the game. I'm not, I'm, I don't have no delusions about that. I have, I know that there are some issues and some things that need to be checked, tracked, uh, you know, re-looked at, reworked and all of that stuff like that. But for the most part, most of the people that I see struggling on the game, it's because they're trying to make 2K23 be 2K22 and everything from adjusting adrenaline to, to uh, more potent speed boost to taking away the steals, to, you know, up an interior defense and all that stuff, or changing interior defense, which, I, I, like I said, the game is not perfect. I definitely think interior needs to be touched, but at the same time, it's possible to play, and it's the best that it's ever been, so I don't know if that's really saying a lot, but you know it is what it is. It's possible to play interior defense, hands-up defense, where you can body check somebody. The problem is, it's hard to, to body check somebody in this joint sometimes. I played a dude last night, all he did was just headbutt the rim the whole game, bro. Every single time he touched the ball, free throw line, it didn't matter. He just pressed, he pressed X. And I understand that that can be irritating, but they lost by 30. So, like, I can't get too, too mad at it. You know, it just is, it's just one of those things where, where you know, you got to take the good with the bad. And uh, like I said, to me, this is one of the best 2Ks we've had to this point and the things that are in it they make it be that way on the ones like me and T was talking about yesterday it is very nearly impossible to defend somebody one-on-one -on -one. but again that's what we asked for we didn't want people to be able to just close out the stone wall and stuff like that so you know that's where we at with it man but I'm cool with it it ain't one of those it, it, it ain't too too tough um and like I said we play fives mostly so I'm sure I'm seeing it through a different lens than most, most people are seeing it through if you play threes and ones and twos I can definitely see a lot of people having an uh, issue with it, uh, with the game and how it goes. But you know, we play threes and fives, so like I'm, I'm cool with it for right now. Uh, but it's not by any means a perfect game. Up next, we got that boy Laker fan talking about just because six ones are not easy to use doesn't mean they're not good. And that's what I keep trying to tell people, bro. They ain't easy to use because, but that's mostly just because of the finishing. Like if they could finish better then they will be much easier to use. But when you try to go get on that rim, if you don't got the right uh, stats, when you try to get on the rim, you're going to smoke a lot of dunks. And then number two, you better stay ahead on the uh, scoreboard because if you get behind, most people just going to back cut you to death with a 6'9", and you're just going to not be able to do anything but watch the dude get on the rim. So, you know, I understand what people say about that. They're definitely not easy to use, but doesn't mean that they're not good because most of the time, if they're good, they're going to keep themselves out of a situation where... They, they're behind on the scoreboard, and, uh, you know, they can get backdoored to death. Up now, hey, look, we got this one dude, he tweeted at me. This is Mama Forever, man. He says he's trying to show what you can do with 51 interior. Should I make it big, man? We're going to make it big, man. This is this not community clips yet, but I just wanted to show y'all, like, like, now, this dude, he is not as far inside as you would want him to be uh, from what we're talking about with interior, but... I mean, you know what I'm saying? He, got, he, was able to, he was able to play some decent defense, and he got him a decent start right there, so I can't hate on that, man. I think that the threshold for uh, interior where you really probably want to be is probably going to be like... Um probably gonna be like 70 or so 75 if you can get it but 50s and 60s they do very well i think a lot of brute characters they only got 50s and 60s too so you know it is what it is that boy mama we we, we own the community clips but we really not he just says look man the dream shape does stun human players but it's not something you can you can't recover from but it recovered perfectly to the fade contest but i didn't fade stay on your feet look at that <laughs> get up get up mother Okay. Woo! Motherfucker, get up! Hey, hey, he, he recovered, but you know what it is, what it is, man. He got it, he got cooked right there. Hey, uh, and last but not least, so that boy, the boy Zach, 
Uh, let me see what his name is, man. Cause he was, you know, I was, I was replying to him, right? And uh, like, hey, look, now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. He got some hippity hoppities now. That boy Zach was like, he said, who in the 2K community got hops? Uh, you know, can out jump me. And y'all, y'all see, y'all, like, hold on, hold on. Can I go here? We we just go here with it. I, I don't think we can go big with it because because of uh because of how it is. Or can I click on? There we go. Look at, I mean, he, he getting up now. He got some hippity hoppities now. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I ain't no hater. I ain't no hater. And that man got some hippity hoppities now, but I had to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he, he look kind of young too now. I ain't gonna capulate to you now. So, so that boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, I ain't gonna make mine big because, uh, because, uh, you know, this is where I am with it. But, you know, I had to just put my little, put my little mixtape from when I was like 28 out, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's grainy. This is big as it can get. If I blow this up in it, it's gonna look like complete horse shit on the screen, so I'm not gonna blow it up. But y'all see your boy out there getting some, you know what I'm saying? Getting a couple of buckets on these boys, man. But anyway, I said, not today, but until I was about 35, I, you know, I, I would have said, yeah. This is when I was 28, and I said, yo, OG Constant, tell your boy how I used to have dynamite in my legs on Machinima Sports. Hey, but you got the juice now. I'm just saying, hey, he got the juice now because I can't do nothing in the words of Danny Glover. You know the rest. I'm too old for this sh that's, that's Danny Glover, Glover and probably Clay, Clay Davis mixed together. But y'all understand what I'm trying to say, man. Yo, uh, like I said, bro, like a hey, big shout out to him. And I think y'all, man, he, you know, y'all might have some dynamite in his legs too. Uh, for for a minute, but you know, once you get older, you get them knee problems. Like I said, I give you a run till I was about 35. Even when I was 38, I still was doing crazy stuff. But when that dude pushed me, and um, and and like my knee, it just ain't been right since, man. And you know, as a man, we ain't going to the doctor. We need to, but uh, you know, we should. But last but not least, man. Speaking of hops, bro, these things, this this thing, the the innovations in technology are crazy. Cause you got these, you know, Boston Dynamic. I remember when they was just trying to get a robot off the ground 30 years ago. It's like 30 years in, of, of stuff or whatever. I remember when they was just trying to get a robot off the ground. And then, now, then they had the dog in, in the early 2000s. So it's like 2008, 2009, they, they had just created the dog that could recover from getting pushed. And now they got those robots. Man, this thing crazy, bro. Like, like it. Technology is is insane, and don't be, don't come at me with all that matrix shit. If you come with me with the matrix, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, bro. You own a computer right now that's probably got more computing power than than the ship that didn't go to the moon and stuff, man. Like, what are you talking about? Come on, man. But you know, you know what I'm saying. I, I understand what y'all saying about the matrix and, and Terminator. I ain't gonna capulate, man. I, I'm, I'm a little bit scared too. I ain't gonna lie. Woo. Hey, but look though. No. I'm a computer engineer, so I'm gonna be the person that's, that got to set up the network, and I gotta I gotta help them change the parts out. So I'm gonna be fine. I don't know what y'all gonna do. Anyway, man, I'm just joking, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I don't think the game is dead by any stretch of the imagination, but I think that the imagination for the game just needs to be stretched, and that's a double entendre for y'all. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Make sure y'all like the video, comment down below. Uh, hops down below somewhere you comment and like I said we already paid our Ed Smith he fifty dollars richer are you gonna be next tomorrow and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Easy aka fresh from the barbershop BK the people's champ Guys,